long ago, Barnabas, when you were a small boy with sad eyes. Did they see your future? Did they see this moment when you would be destroyed forever? <gasps> Who are you? What do you want? I'll relieve you of these and then we'll talk. My name is Angelique. Perhaps you've heard of me. How did you get in here? Derek! Derek! Don't bother, he won't answer you. What have you done to him? Nothing, he's just gone. And don't harbor any ideas. He'll tell anyone what he saw in the cellar, because he won't. Who are you? <laughs> well, I'm flattered by your interest, love. Perhaps we can become good friends. I must confess, I've always been rather interested in you. Laura Stockbridge Collins. One of the legendary beauties of the Collins family. There was a picture of you in Jeremiah's room. I remember you, looking arrogant and rather woodsy in your riding habit. You're still very lovely, my dear. But perhaps time is beginning to press in on you a little. Oh, no. I shall have enough time to do what I came here to do. To get your children. That doesn't concern you, does it? Barnabas Collins concerns me very much. Well, in that case, if you persuade him to leave me alone, I shall leave him alone. Are you making a bargain with me? <laughs> That's very amusing. I almost destroyed him tonight. I would have succeeded if you hadn't come in. You little fool. Don't you know I will always come in whenever Barnabas needs me? Unless, of course, you plan to destroy me too. Which would be even more foolish. You were the one who was being foolish. What do you mean by that? Perhaps I can't destroy you, but he can hurt you. Barnabas. The Collins house has always held unhappy women. And Barnabas is a Collins. Rather different from the others, I think. Nevertheless, I will remain devoted to him, no matter what you try to tell me. <laughs> then I was right. <laughs> you are a fool. Perhaps you can force him to love you, do what you say by spells and potions and whatever, but if he really had a choice, do you think Barnabas would choose you? No. No more than Dirk would choose you. Oh, I'm not interested in Dirk. I care only about my children. But you do care about Barnabas, don't you? How does it make you feel to know that you are are succeeding as a, as a, whatever you are, but failing as a woman. Let me finish what I started to do. Perhaps we would both be much better off without him. I am going to destroy you. You will never leave this house. I must warn you, I am not without power. And it's good to see that you are not without fear. Till we meet again, my dear Angelique.